This episode of Hack 5 is brought to you by Toyota. For Hack 5, I'm Darren Kitchen here at CES 2014, checking out some physical security stuff. Check this out. This is actually the Kivo from Quickset, and this is really novel because what they've done here is put Bluetooth LE, the low power Bluetooth stuff, up in a deadbolt. And what that allows you to do now is to actually open and close your lock using, say, your phone or a key fob. Now, of course, in addition, there is still the traditional keys. These continue to work. What's actually behind the scenes is some batteries and some motors and some brains behind it that you know communicate over Bluetooth. Uh, interestingly, it was not able to find out anything about the actual back end, whether it's AES or you know if they use you know what the key exchange mechanism is, if it's Diffie Hellman. Um, and so that always kind of makes me a little nervous because it wasn't, I wasn't told that they didn't know, I was told that they don't kind of share that stuff. So this might be a fun thing to do some pen testing on because, um, you know, what's more fun than, than uh, lock picking? Now on the lock picking side, they do say that it's actually not bumpable. So you wouldn't be able to just like use a bump key and a hammer, whack, rotate it and uh, open up this dead bolt that way. However, I feel like there's a lot of cool stuff that this brings to you as far as like access control and knowing when the lock has been opened. It also adds a lot of convenience factors as far as say, if I go out for the weekend and I have a cat sitter that I need to come in, I could actually send them over email. And this is where uh, there, there might be a fun avenue. Send over email a uh, virtual key that they can then use to open the door. Uh, that sounds kind of awesome. I would love to try to brute force this or otherwise capture some keys because they don't talk about whether it's symmetric or if there's public private key pairs or whatever else is involved, but it is still really novel and I feel like this deserves some attention because of the hackability. Not just the convenience factors, but also like I want to know what makes this thing tick. So uh, anyway, I love whenever these vendors show me like the most secure whatevers there are and then add uh, awesome stuff like this. Uh, they did say that if a vulnerability was found and that they do have pen testers working on this stuff. Um, if a vulnerability was found that uh, you would be able to push a firmware update to the lock from the app. So you pick up your phone, you put it into that mode, you hold it up to the lock, and then physically one by one update all of your locks. Because again, this is Bluetooth, it's not connected to Wi-Fi. They do say that they have a product, an accessory to this coming out in the future that would then tie the Bluetooth into Wi-Fi so you get a network backend. Um, so it's, it's interesting in the whole connected home. Um, so I think it's, I think it needs peer review is what I think. And I think it needs to be open source before I would put it on my house. However, interesting. Check it out. It's the Kivo. Thanks once again to Toyota for sponsoring our CES coverage.